Welcome to the What's New in Forte Web video. In this video, you'll learn about the exciting new enhancements we've added in Forte Web, which include guidance on material availability in your area, ability to specify bracing, and changing the building code in existing jobs. First, let's check out how you can now see if a product is available in your area. In Materials Manager, Forte Web will now flag products that aren't available in your zip or postal code. Orange means the product is only available for special order, while red indicates the product is unavailable in your area. You can set up your material inventory based on the zip or postal code entered by clicking Reset Selections. Any product that is available for that area will be turned on, while any product that is special order or unavailable for that area will be turned off. This dialog will list all the products that will be changed. In addition to making it easy to set up your inventory, you can also see if a product is available when working on a job. If a job you are working on is located in a different area, you can now enter a zip or postal code on the Job Settings tab. On the Product Selection tab for a member, if there is a product in the list that is special order or unavailable for the zip or postal code specified in the Job Settings, it will be flagged. If you select a special order or unavailable product, it will also be flagged in the Solutions list and on the Report tab. This way, you can be sure that the product you are selecting is available to order when the job is ready to build. If you don't want to see material availability information, you can turn it off under Settings. Next, let's look at how to specify bracing. On the Spans and Supports tab, you will see a new grid located below the Supports grid for bracing. Use this grid to specify the top and bottom edge bracing for a member. Specifying the bracing can provide a more accurate design for the specific member condition. For example, when you have a flush beam in your floor that is going to have sheathing applied to the top edge and drywall is going to be applied to the bottom edge, you can select Sheathing Drywall. Design takes this continuous bracing into account instead of assuming and reporting a maximum unbraced length for the member condition. You can also see the selected bracing is displayed in the new lateral bracing grid on the report. This ability to input the precise modeling condition for the member leads to a more accurate member design and more detailed information on the report for installation during the construction process. And now let's look at changing the building code for an existing job. In previous versions, you couldn't change the building code after members had been added to the job. Now you can go back to the job settings and update the building code for a job if the local building code jurisdiction updates to a new code. You can update your job without having to recreate it. To learn more about Forte Web, go to Forte Web Help or start a chat with our support team. You can also check out our Warehouser Software YouTube channel to see more What's New videos for Forte Web software. We hope you will take advantage of the exciting new features in Forte Web. Thank you for choosing Warehouser software.